Hey guys, Automotive Inquiries here. I'm back with another video because I had somebody reach out to me this morning in regards to the Godzilla video. I um, wanted to talk about axle ratios, and I apologize if I missed out on telling you that my Godzilla is set up with a 355 uh, electronic locking rear differential. And when people sit back and talk about axle ratios, you know, <clears throat> in the grand scheme of things, those combined will give you some towability better. Um, as long as it's a heavy duty axle, I mean, really there's semi tractors out there with like a 2.64 axle ratio because they use compounding, uh, transmission gear ratios to give it that low end grunt, but really they want that, that big, huge truck to get good fuel economy. And so what people don't know is, is that uh, is a numerical, um, um, higher axle ratio, like a 373, a 430, uh, 462, you know, uh, as we go up then that, that's a, a lower, uh, gear. Um, so what, uh, when you're on the line, you're getting off, that's going to give you just a little bit more grunt. However, it's going to limit you when it comes to fuel economy, because this rating, the higher the number, uh, high speeds is going to keep your engine revs higher. And, and in all reality, if you're talking, you know, about your vehicle specifically, um, when you're in the half ton market, it makes, it, it can make a huge difference, you know, like, five, six hundred uh, pounds, thousand pounds worth of difference. But we're going to use Ford as the, as the demonstrating factor here. <clears throat> so you can go back as long as your vehicle's probably been made within the last 15, 20 years and find out just about everything that your vehicle has in it, whatnot. You can go to a mechanic. They'll be able to tell you what rear end you have if you're looking at a used one. If you're looking at a new one, these the, the data is actually on the window sticker. So, you know, you go into here and you start talking about this. This right here says F-150 gooseneck towing. I, I wouldn't recommend towing a uh, fifth wheel with that. But, you know, I think a, a horse trailer and whatnot with F-150, a small one would work. But as you can kind of just see here, let's just pick a random motor. You can find this data if you go to look at your new truck and you're like, okay, I have a regular cab uh, with a 2.7 turbo and I have the 3.55. You can see right here, we're just going to take one column, a 4 by 2 this wheelbase 7,500. Well, even if I have the bigger exo ratio, which is my only other choice, it's only 8,500 pounds. That's a thousand pounds worth of towing, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not going to make that big of a difference, especially because you don't want to go to those maxes. So you would probably want to go with a 355 if you're going to do mostly driving versus always towing. Um, and, and that kind of goes all the way down the line when it comes to all of these little things. Now, each manufacturer will have a tow guide in it. And you can go over and find your specific vehicle, Super Cab. Uh, most people are going to be up here in the Super Crew configuration, a 4x2, probably not, um, but mostly in the 4x4. And then you can see again right here at 355 gear ratio, it's 7,600 7, pounds, and there it's 8,000. So 400 pounds difference worth of towing. Now, if you look way down here, you'll see right here there's a little numerical three. So when you see those little smaller things um, that's when you're going to scroll down here and you're going to go to these columns and finds out right here requires 2.7 ecoboost payload package 622 which then you'll be able to match that up on your window sticker and or if you're ordering it you'll know hey i want i want the 27 no matter what because 27 is going to get a little bit better fuel economy and whatnot and you got to get these packages to equip that but really when we go to the heavy duty market and, and we're looking at stuff like that I mean, most people, again, uh, if you're a consumer market, is going to be in this crew cab category. Uh, most of this is going to be work truck stuff um, for most, you know, like super companies like I drive for. We, they buy mostly regular cabs, period. Some people do buy super cabs. Those have their place for sure. Uh, but, you know, so here's a conventional towing for an F-250. And you cruise through here and people are like, oh, my diesel, I got a 355 and I can tow more than a 331. And really, you look over here and you got you know, 18 or sorry, 15,000 max trailer weight. And at the 331, you got 15,000. Well, that seems weird. Shouldn't I be able to tow more because I have a heavier gear range? So in the last power stroke I had, I had a 331. And I actually enjoyed this rear end a ton because what that did was it, it gave me really good fuel economy. Where it really came into though was, as you see right here, where you can get a, a little bit more juice you know, you can bump that payload rating up here. So we go over here. There is a two. Let's go over here. Find two included when you ordered with the 355 locking, rocking 
and electronic locking axle with high capacity trailer tow. So again, by going with that high capacity tow, I got a better fuel economy diesel without having to step up to the, to the 355. And, and that will directly play into that. So when people are saying, well, I got more capacity than the 331, I got to have a 331. Well, again, you're, you're identical numbers here. Same thing when people were, were talking about the Godzilla. We have a 355 gear ratio is what I got. And then you cruise over here and it's, there's only one way to get that bad boy. So we cruise over here and it's at basically uh, 15,000, um, you know, 14, seven, whatnot. Cause I have a four by four with a six and three quarter inch bed. So I'm at 14, seven. And then, you know, you can put some bags on it, whatever if you want to put just a little bit more payload in it. And so that's more than what I need. But really when people are saying, well, my, you know, if I go to the 430, I'm going to get that much more. No, no, not necessarily. Okay. You're really not going to get that much more. You're talking 300 pounds, but you are going to directly affect your fuel economy. Now, if we go to here to the 430 with the four, we're going to go back down here and it says trimmer off-road package. One thing Ford did well was the trimmer package did allow you to uh, still have really good tow capacities, even though it has that factory lift and wheel combo on it. Now, like I said in the other towing video was, uh, if you get 20 inch wheels and everything like that, that's all going to directly affect it. Um, so when you go into here, uh, I think it actually plays into one of these categories. Maybe it's on the F350, but you can again see, you know, you have the 355 and the 430 and not a huge difference here. If you just get a standard pack without the max tow, 14.8, 15.8, yep, thousand pounds, whatever. Um, really not that big of a difference. I, you know, if I numerically was going at it and the, the 2023 that I ordered, I ordered with the 331 locker with the high capacity on it. And that puts it up to that 20,400. But I like getting the, um, the better fuel economy when I'm not towing. And frankly, once we get down, going down the road, um, I don't really need it to be that, you know, type of low end type stuff. Now, if I was pulling full time and then, you know, this it became an issue where it just wasn't getting up the hill, which I doubt. then of course, you could step up to that 355, really, but you're not really gaining that much, if, if anything, because we look over here at the 355 and 20,400, 20,400. So if you get the high capacity 331, you can tow just as much as the high capacity 355 with diesel. So again, it's just going to give you a little bit more oomph off the starting line, but it doesn't mean the truck can't pull with that 331 in it. So, you know, you're just going to want to look over all these specs, go to the manufacturer's website that you have. And again, if you're going to buy a pickup and you don't know what you're going to tow yet, you don't even really know where you need to start. You Do you need to start at $100,000 diesel? Do you start with a Godzilla? Do you start with, with the new 6.8 or the older 6.2? If you're in the older market, you know, it, it's just one of those things where this is where you can do some of your research. And then if you really had a trailer or a camper in, in you know, in your thought process, what you wanted to do, then call, you can get those specs off their website. You can find the pin box weight. You can find, um, you know, how much they weigh uh, empty and loaded, say if you drove with water and all your gear and stuff like that. And then you can come in here and then tailor your vehicle that you're looking for. Well, what do I really, really need? To tow, I have a 10,000 pound trailer. When it's loaded, it can only be 12,000. Well, here you, the Godzilla is going to work for you. Heck, the 6.2 is going to work for you. And the diesel will definitely work for you, but at what cost? So, again, you don't really need to step up and everything like that. But here's kind of what I was telling you earlier. When you see these little numerical, um, uh, like asterisks, if you will, like right there, make sure you read over here because a lot of these high towing capacities are coming by. Uh, Two-wheel drive, regular cab, long box. Okay, as soon as you add 4x4, four four, it takes out of that, that scenario. You think, oh, 4x4 four four makes it even stronger. Well, it does in the grand scheme of using the pickup. But as for towing, um, that's why you don't see a lot of you know 4x4 four four semis uh, because it's, it's, it's one of those things where you're trying to keep weight down and keep it where you can and, and put it in the trailer. But then you can see right here where it talks about 17-inch wheels. If you have this package, what package requires 20-inch all-terrains. Etc. and so forth, but you can find all of this out. And again, when you're going in, if you just know you want a diesel and you don't care, go buy the diesel. Um, you're going to be set up either way, a 331 or a 355. Those are your two choices. Chevy only gives you the one choice, a 373. That's it. Uh, Ram gives you a couple different ones. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's not going to change it despairingly different. Really, these numbers are going to come in again. Um, the, the lower the number, the better fuel economy. 
the higher the number, a little bit less fuel economy and a lot more towability uh, in theory. But, you know, if you look at these numbers, really not. So hopefully this clarifies it a lot because a lot of people are like, well, I would have got the 430s instead of your 355s because I can tow, tow this and that. Well, I did get, you know, the, the max tow package on mine. So I'm at that 14.7 slash 15,000 on my, um, you know, my weights. And so I'm, I'm in a good position with that and I'm plenty happy. So, um, but hopefully that helps. And like I said, you can dig up any of this information on there. The most of these will actually show you a payload and what restrictions come with that payload. So again, just make sure you read all the, the exclusions and you can take notes. And then when you order it, you can actually even find out most of the time what the package is called. Trim Offroad package is the uh, I7Y, uh, uh, sorry, 17Y package. And you can just go in there and, and order if you will. Or if you go to the dealership, you're going to see it on the actual window sticker itself. So um, this should help you a ton. And uh, like I said, guys, if you have any questions, reach out to me and we'll see you on the next video.